Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning, too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take... Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? The serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Your mom and your dentist will thank me. So lame. Just so lame. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but... This is pretty cool. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. <sighs> I bet Chloe's parents were freaking... I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is... Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Uh. Chloe seems upset about something. But I don't want to pry. Maybe I'll get it out of her later.
Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town, all in the past now. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you. Oh. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right, back to the junk mines. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but... Neither Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? <clears throat> I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks. 
What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. <sighs> well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... Uh, I... Don't know how Holy to... shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Law <laughs> Max Silver! You were such dogs. So, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, be mine eyes. <laughs> what Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project! Oh, a project? Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it! All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of... <laughs> Treasures. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh, why? <laughs> Dude, that was... So dorky. What were we thinking? I thought we were lovable. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook! This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map.
This looks like a page was ripped out. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map... Oh, yes! Take that, Rat King. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Bingo. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. was. <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, I might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. There it is, the dark cavern. Crap, I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. 
I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Aw, Chloe's parents are so cute. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe hasn't. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Most strikes? <laughs> How can I? It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. I think I'll need to stack a few things to get up high enough. Almost there. I just need one more thing. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. I think that should be tall enough. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. There is a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever? There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in three till. I think I've heard of them. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. I think I can squeeze through now. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kinda difficult. 
I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. One step closer. Chloe and I had the best Halloween costume. Long Max Silver's eye patch. This will be perfect. Maybe there's still some things in there. I guess Chloe's dad went through a hippie phase. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. That's so cool. I wonder how many different moments this thing is captured. Ugh, this desk's pretty heavy. Glad this thing is empty. Finally. Got you. This thing is... Finally. This is a nice close-up shot. Got you. Yeah. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? I'm just getting some light. 
This cavern is even darker than I remembered. Did you conquer your fears? You could say that. Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. The Dark Cavern was no match for you, eh? Long Mac Silver to the rescue. Treasure's sure to be ours, Captain. Bring the amulet over here so I can see! Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. I'm really gonna miss Price Family Barbecues. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. One time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Land ho! Perfect. I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's rum for me. Do you drink this? Yar. No, not really. I had to fish an empty bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it how I lost my magnifying glass privileges. Great art is never appreciated. This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, I can. Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. I never understood why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet. Coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... <sighs> Damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I think I saw some tape. <sighs> Thanks, Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. Or one step closer to getting that treasure, whatever it is. Avast, 
lady. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. I'm so close. I just need to keep looking. <gasps> Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step right. No, no. The other right. My other right or your other right? My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Just go that way. Oh, perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. That is not what we buried. What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers. <laughs> it's me, Bloody Bill, the pirate king. <laughs> Now you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary, I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. 
your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe... Look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. To Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <sighs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine? <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. It's good to see you, old friend. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. These are awesome. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Chloe and... I guess I should try talking. Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking you sure were troublesome to find. There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. This is probably the last thing Chloe... Much better. Somebody's a goody two shoes. That was a good week. I used every possible excuse to be here for breakfast. I always look especially short next to Chloe. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but. If Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it.
These used to make great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. Yes? Pose for a photo with that? Okay, tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> uh, like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. to hear that I've never gotten in trouble like this before they already know I um I saw an email on your parents computer shit what happened something so minor her mom is exaggerating I bet Marissa told her that I I'm telling you it's stupid They both sound awful. Marissa and her mom. They are. All Marissa talks about is, like, how much she hates her tutor, but she never does any homework. She's just so full of herself, you know? Is everybody there like that? No, not everyone. But more than I'm used to. Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I turned up her Bunsen burner in science. Just a little. What? No one got hurt, not even close. You know that I know what I'm doing. Chloe, what do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and calling me a scholarship kid. Is that why you wanted to throw away your hoodie? Don't worry. I'll keep it. Hey, you can handle this. You're so much cooler than she is. <laughs> Just to you. Thanks, Max. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. What if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. 
द हैट वट टैटू माई गेटिंग हार्ट विथ माई इनिशियल्स द Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She's already got enough drama from Blackwell. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe, Max, I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm um My family's moving to Seattle. really soon Hey in 3 days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know. But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. Why did you pretend like you didn't know? I don't know. I I guess I guess I didn't want it to be true. We were both doing it, weren't we? All that pirate stuff. doing the treasure hunt wasn't that fun of course but us i know you hate this kind of conversation so i just left it alone you know come on i want to spend every minute we have together having fun I'm so worried that I won't be okay without you. Hey, stop that. Of course you'll be okay. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. That's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do.
am you. <laughs>